everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory 101 tutorial video. Now, if you've been following along, you know that last episode, we were taking dirt from our automatic dirt farm. We were running it through our sieves, which was getting us a whole bunch of drops. Most important of those drops were the stone pebbles. We then took those stone pebbles and made ourselves some cobblestone. We put the cobblestone in our world. We then took a hammer. We hammered the cobblestone down into gravel. We then took some of that gravel. We hammered it down into sand. We then took that some of that sand. We hammered it down into dust. We then took those powder materials ran them through the sieve once again and we got a whole bunch of different stuff things like seeds things like ores things like powders a lot a lot of very useful useful stuff now this episode what we're going to work on is getting some water in our world water is going to be a very important resource for us to have we're going to need it for making things like clay and most importantly we're going to need it to make our automatic cobblestone generator so to make water in our world we've got a couple of different methods the first method is very, very passive. If we were to take something like a oak barrel, this is something we built, you know, very, very early on in our world. It is just six planks and a half slab. And if we go place this in our world with nothing up above it, all we got to do is basically sit and wait for it to rain. Now, this could take a very, very long time and it may not even happen. Now, my face cam's blocking it right now. But down in the bottom left hand corner there, it tells you what biome that you're in. So right here, I'm in Atagia Hills or Atagia Hills. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. If I come over here, I'm in a forest. If I run over here, we're in a flower forest now. Same thing over here. And then we come back up, we're back into some Tagia Hills. And that's the biomes I've got access to right now. It is possible that you will have a biome or you will be in a biome where it does not rain. Uh, in my Let's Play series, I am in a biome where it doesn't rain. We've seen it rain around my base, but part of my base is completely rain free, which is a nice thing for recording and all that. But it's not a great thing if that's the way that you're trying to get water. Now, don't panic if you're in a biome that does not have any rain. There is a way to manually make water in your world, and that is by using a crucible. Now, I've got a recipe here for two of them because we're going to need at least two sources of water. I might as well do them at the same time rather than, you know, one at a time. So to make a wooden crucible, it is six logs and a half slab. I'm going to take both of these guys out, and then we're going to go place them right in our world here. By themselves, these could also collect rainwater. That is another possible way of doing it. But what we want to do is we want to manually create some water. So if we were to take things like leaves, because we've got a ton of leaves in our world, we could use saplings. I believe we could use things like apples. I, perhaps we could even use seeds and things like that. Leaves are going to be your best bet because you're going to have so many of them anyways for making dirt. But all we got to do is take those leaves, put them into the crucible, and now we just got to wait. You can see that they are very, very slowly turning into water. And within about five minutes, we're going to have two source blocks of water. This is fine. We could actually do this. We could, you know, if we were making clay, we could take our dust, apply it to this full crucible of water, get our clay out of it, and, you know, just basically fill it back up with leaves again, wait for that water to, you know, basically cook into this crucible, and then, you know, wash, rinse, and repeat. Or we can go and invest in a method of removing the water from these barrels and making ourselves our own infinite water source. And this is probably your best use of the time. Now, one thing about this pack that is kind of surprising is that we do not have an alternate method of moving water. The only method that I can see in this pack is basically going to be a iron bucket. Now, it's not very difficult for us to get the iron bucket. We are already crushing down cobblestone into gravel, into sand, into dust, and then running it through the sieve. That is our main source of getting iron pieces. Four iron pieces will make an iron chunk. One iron chunk in a furnace will make an iron ingot. Now, there are ways of, you know, ore duplicating in that. We will get to them in future episodes. For this episode, though, we're just going to go and basically take some of these stone pebbles that we've, you know, gotten in the past... Turn them in the cobblestone, then I'm going to go place them in the world again. And then we're going to take our hammer, hold the vein mine button, break that block. We got a bunch of gravel. We'll do the same thing over here. And we got some more gravel. So we've now turned a stack of cobblestone into a stack of uh, 
gravel. We're going to come over to my sifting area. Now I've expanded this out since last time. We just used a single sifter with a single mesh. You can use up to a five by five area uh, and it will work perfectly fine. I stick with the three by three because I mean, it's still pretty, pretty quick and there's no reason for me to, I mean, five by five is a pretty, pretty big space. So we're just going to go sift all of this gravel. You can see how quick it's going because we're doing the uh, multiple sieves. All right, there you go. We picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Most importantly, we've got 10 iron pieces. Now that is going to get us two iron chunks and then we've still got two pieces left over. We need three iron chunks total, but I have, oh, I had one right there. Okay, give me a little bit, of, give me a couple seconds, guys. I gotta get one more uh, piece of iron. All right, I think, I think, I think, there you go. We ended up getting two pieces of iron. Perfect. So we've now got three ore chunks. I'm gonna run it through a furnace here just because I've got it handy. But if we wanted to be, you know, really, really diligent in that, we're sort of in a position where we could only, we could do this once and then make ourselves an ore grinder and then grind it down. We can actually do some ore doubling in that, but we'll get to that in a different episode for now. It's just easy enough for me to run these chunks through this furnace. All right. So there you go. We got three iron ingots. We'll come over here. We'll use the crafting table here, get ourselves a bucket. And then all I've got to do is take a bucket of water out of the crucible. And before I forget, I, I like doing the half slabs in my infinite water farms just because I like the way they look. But the problem is that we can waterlog blocks in, you know, 1.16 and that's a little bit of annoyance, but, uh, I am going to go place that there. We're going to place that up. We've now got infinite water in our world. I can take it out. I can put it into a barrel. I can add some dust to it. I don't have any dust on me. We can get our clay or I can take this out and basically use it for whatever I want. Obsidian, uh, as well as a bunch of different recipes that are going to require a bucket of water. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also check out the description below. There'll be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi. As well, there'll be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.